Well, that's game number one in the books. Game number two coming your way right now. TSM versus Enemy. Picks and bans are game number two. Now, I don't expect to see Enemy give up the same composition again, and I think we can see this with where it falls in terms of who's getting first pick and second pick this time. I don't expect to see Sun Wukong and Giannis both be left on the table again. That's for sure. Well, Sir Cat banned out right away from TSM. Pending ban from Enemy here in the second position. I think I expected to potentially see a Capri band out. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, right. the, the, Yannick, <laughs> Yannick caused a lot of issues that game. Even though it didn't look like it, he had he was like 0-7. But what he did do was cause enough problems for them that they couldn't find the targets they wanted to quickly enough. Hell banned out again by TSM. Same ban so far from TSM. Enemies, they mix it up a bit. Will they let Thor through and will TSM first pick it? Is, is the main question here. That's I a think. good point. I mean, will they let Thor through? They will. They're going to take out Athena instead. The Rise of Athena, once you again. You may see first pick Geb here at a TSM, actually. Oh, so wow, Bickham really liking the old, what, what was it? I got I got flack for calling it Bickham Beck. Oh, no, I'm sure. So like, Bickham. It's not Bickham, is it? Because it's Beckham. Beckham is what they want to call it. Beckham, that's what they want to call it's it? Not, yeah, that, I'm pretty sure that's what Snoopy tweeted out was Beckham. Well, Snoopy, he's Canadian. Is he? Yeah, so well, is he now. So Jeff. Yeah, yeah, him and Jeff, they like they live in the same so, province. Well, the best players are Canadian. Freya Geb locked in for anime. Pain to be on, also Canadian. Is he? French Canadian. Oh, he is. And um, Pedibion means meatloaf, right? Meatloaf. Yeah, okay, I remember that one. Giannis finally locked in. Finally. That, I, I'm surprised to say finally locked in. Boosh, Boosh has <laughs> deemed this game worthy of his Giannis. And Degar's going to get his Thor. So, what we saw out of enemy this game is they've taken away from Ionic with the picks. They've banned Capri, they've banned Athena, and they've taken away Geb. Mm -hmm. But is that going to be enough to, you know, stop the support? I don't think it is. There's so many viable supports right now that it's not going to be that e that easy to shut it down. So Wukong's still on the table too, that he could run in the support role. That un that's not an Ionic. Uh, but he's available. That's maybe a Savannah. Saying. Maybe a Kumba. Maybe, maybe it's Thor. Maybe a Kumba. Maybe it's Sobek. It could be Sobek Kumba. support. I'd like to see Kumba again. I like Kumba. Mm -hmm. My favorite. Neef Band away from Snoopy. That's a big shot at Snoopy, that actually, considering the last game he had, isn't it? He, to be fair, he existed and he got MVP it's the for global, it. global, right? I mean, well, Shubalanke probably yeah. going to be the god or Rom now for TSM, but it's the Giannis Thor combination. You don't it's want them to have Neef as well. It's funny when you say Rom and you're like, oh, yeah, Snoopy. Oh, gosh. You know, he didn't yeah. pick it that game. It was available for the whole time. Yeah, uh, Rom probably the likely one. Shubalanke going to be right behind it. Uh, I was about to say, Enemy, this looks like a draft that's uh, maybe going to go the way of Najah. Obviously, there's a tremendous, I mean, actually, I say obviously, but it's not that obvious, I don't think. Naja, a lot of synergy with Nuwa. Three of them able to take themselves off the map for a little period of time as well. We're going to see Freya with Valkyrie's Discretion, Nuwa with the, sh with the Fire Shards, and then Nijar as well. All three of these can take themselves out of the fight for a, a, a limited period of time, but there we go. Sun Wukong finally locked in for TSM. Sun Wukong so good, he's both banned and drafted. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> one, 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 one is his clone. One was his clone. Uh, Sylvanas. Okay, it was Sylvanas that was drafted. No, it was his Sun clone, Wukong. Bart. Oh, uh, okay. It's, it's decoy? Decoy. Gotcha. It worked. It worked perfectly. There, there he go. is. Sylvanas Old to man go alongside Jablonke. So, the funny thing is, is that they banned Geb, they banned Capri, they banned Athena. Whoa! What is that? Wow. That's, and yeah. Confirmed. That's that is the right pick. Vamana. For Salt Machine in the Soul. Okay. Um, well, yeah, you know, that age-old idiom, if the enemy team picks Sobek, you pick Vamana because his matchup's so good. Now, Vamana, for the most part, has started to fall off, and the reason this is why we're like, oh, yeah, because we've not seen it in a long time, because a lot more things have been a lot more impactful. The yeah. rise of Guan Yu, for example, is one that's been a lot more... B been better than Vermana since he's started to fall from grace. It's very difficult for him to chase targets down thanks to the sprint nerf is one of the biggest issues he has. Well, I think what last time we saw Vermana was in the hunter role. <laughs> not very successfully. Yeah, let's um, not, Here let's we're going to see Masola. And, and like, I mean, the big the big knock on Vamana here from what the pro players have said, and obviously, definitely obviously, this does not translate down into casual and rank play because no, Vamana course. still just destroys of teams. Of course, yeah. Is that at the professional level, he, quote, doesn't do anything, quote, well, Take into account big baby form, he heals, but not as much as other gods heal nowadays, so it's not as impactful mm -hmm. with the heal generation he's getting. He is easy to get away from while you in big baby him. form because yep. you can just kite him to death. He he has no sprint to continue the chase anymore. Sprint 3 used to allow him to continue chasing at full movement speed. So he has to build Fatalis, which doesn't really go with the rest of his kit in terms mm -hmm. of building itemization wise. And his mana costs are quite high too. So all these things impact and affect the mana in so many ways that this is why we don't see him as much. Yeah. It's just always like there's, there's other options on the table for the most part. Well, and also considering that, like, 
a lot of his kit is just like Sun Wukong does it, but just better versions of all I, of it. Precisely. The ultimate is a, a prime example right. there. You can use the Sun Wukong ultimate for escape, for heal, for aggression. The Monazult, you can use it for escape. Heal, aggression, but all three of those are weaker. Yeah, weaker. Of exactly the same. You thing. got your, you got your, uh, your long range poke ability. Vamanas comes with a slow, but Summer Kong's comes with a basically unmissable. Yeah, part un of it. unmissable, but the the slow. I think the slow and the attack speed is. Vamanas armor and umbrella his too. It's a cone. It's instant cast. It does a lot more damage, but Masters will slows. Ox form knocks up cats. Form stuns. I mean the the you know, clear the path for Vamana. Not really as good as the transformation. So nope. that, yeah, I mean what we're getting at here is that there are. There are things that Vamana does do very well, which is and this is what tremendous damage. I was, was going to mention, one thing that he will do with Big Baby is we mentioned that everyone will kite him and run away from him when he's in Big Baby. Well, when you look at the composition the enemy has on paper here, they've got a just on this Nijar. He'll take someone into the sky, and then we've also got, while he's in the sky, Vamana can ult and zone out the rest of the enemy team from coming in to support yeah. that guy who's under, under pressure. Well, they're looking for that Naja ultimate into the new Oclay minions, like fall right in the middle yeah. of them, blow them all up, big burst damage. But to, to do that, you have to make sure the rest of the team don't aggress and get involved. So they'll be looking for that big baby to cause those issues for the most part. And Vamana does, does, uh, does have the, I, I think, on this one. Usually I'm pretty sure on these. This one, what I want to say, is still the case. Outside of something like Mjolnir's Attunement that has like a special condition where it hits multiple times, uh, Armored Umbrella is the highest base damage and scaling instant fire ability in the game. And it's one of those abilities that's gone backwards and forwards, been leveled For physical. first or second as well, because sometimes you've seen the Umbrella rank leveled first, and then other times you've seen um, what you said there. I mean, they're both very, very impactful. The issue is, though, is if it goes late game, Vermont will be still... He's like a Hercules late game in terms of you can't kill him. So yeah, yeah. that could help him out a little bit too, if they can get that far. And they do have the sort of competition that could take it that late. Well, we didn't really say too much about this after saying that it probably would be this. Uh, Snoopy, whoo, pain. That's going to hurt, bud. Yeah, a lot of pressure. Earlier. But uh, Snoopy is going to play that Shibalanke, and obviously the, the Thor plus Giannis plus Shibalanke combination is three global ultimates for TSM. And that could be, make a big impact too as well, just having that. But in response, global ultimate-wise, there, so there is that new war that can influence with the fire shots as well, potentially be able to turn something around. But I was surprised by the, the Sylvanas pick here because of all the enemy just focused down all the other Guardians and then Sylvanas was still up. But Sylvanas so far this season, he's not had the greatest of seasons. People seem to have worked him out now. Now that we changed slowly but surely little pieces about him, he's now st starting to hit that stride of like, he's he's playable, but he's not controlling the whole dual lane. Yeah, well, teams of, uh, yeah, well, yeah, the big, the lane control nerfs probably the most important ones. Ultimate players have just kind of uh, surmised that you can just aggress right onto him and kill him. And that's what you see from some of them. He's very slow, a little bit like, he's almost at the same movement speed as Ymir. So that can impact him a little bit on trying to pick him off in these engagements. And it's starting to happen more often than not. Hmm. Bickham not wanting to do too much damage to his minions. Hold his wave close. Well, the mana versus Sobek in this lane is just going to be farm. Yeah, you just thought like Athena farm. Sobek was slow. Yeah, this will be even slower and unlike me. To be fair, the one thing that's going to come out of this Salt Machine will be able to clear a lot quicker than mm. Bickham, which means we may see some faster rotations coming out from him as well. I don't expect to see him pick up a teleport on this for mana. Potentially something else that could combine nicely with him would be available as an option instead of that teleport. Imagine if you could blink in Big Baby. I just thought about that and I was like, wow, that'd be, that'd be good. Blinking as a big baby? Blink big baby. Mm. It could be okay, I guess. If you have the Fatalis, it'd be good. Yeah, blink big baby into Fatalis hits, and you're like, and I'm on you forever now. It's going to be hard to get away. Good invade from Team Solo mid, though, trying to abuse the map. But look at the right-hand side. The response is already there. He's traded purple for blue on this right-hand side, which is going to deny Bickham a little bit in the solo lane, but not as much as it would have done if so, Beck, we didn't change his ability. Uh, his <laughs> right, yeah, his mana costs go mana down. Costs. Lurking in the water still does grant percentage mana regen, so it'll take him to fall from where he is now, more or less. To be okay, but it means that he has to potentially use that for regen. Good pull in the mid lane, though. Bunch of damage on the new one, the ultimate forced out as well. No major rotations happening from TSM, so nothing spotted out with the vision that it grants. Just a uh, just a baited ultimate, and now will TSM be able to uh, pick up anything after this? The red buff did just spawn for enemy. They may they may look for the invade there, but no, they'll secure their own buffs first. Guards and old Booch. That's one of those things where junglers would prefer to get their own speed than help a mage with their red. First of all, that's more important. Right inside oh, though, oh, oh. Bickham one v one. He's gonna ultimate. live. Well done. Nicely there by Snoopy. Barely going to live there. So back that the bonus protection is coming out. Nice big baby toggle by Salt Machine to deal with Gars. Off the mark there was a just. 
expecting a zig, but got a zag. Sash doesn't land a teleport in from Bickham and they're all back to all square. Ultimate still available for Bickham though, so a bit of an impact there. But good work from Salt Machine to 1v1. That much damage down that early. The Warrior Tabby made an impact then. Yeah, he almost got that kill. Which uh, is a really, really good. Again, so I expected that match to go pretty much even there. I didn't think that Vermona has a better matchup against Sobek um, in any particular way of the wave clear, but it seems that maybe I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, the wave clears, that's it. He probably took most of that damage from the minions, right? I guess, I mean, yeah, if you, I guess if you use your tail whip a little bit too early or something, then you can just go aggressive with the slows and knock you up and continue chasing after you charge prey away, so. Good work from Salt Machine. I remember, so far. Uh, Bickham was, you know, stalling outside of his tower to quite oh. a bit of damage from range minions. Oh, that was lovely. He'll find himself in a bit of trouble. The stash into the ultimate here, but he does have a Sylvanas to try to bail him out. That we'll was lovely. Block. Wrath of Terror comes out, not going to be in time. The Frey ultimate nice. rotation. Used. Here comes the rest of the team, though. Uncivil Vortex It's all three. Nicely placed there by Boosh. Pain to be on. Roll out. Oh, wow. Jukes Way everything. off the mark there was Gars. A rare, rare mechanical misplay from Gars. That gank was just absolutely amazing. I just hit that Sash at max range, straight into the ultimate. Notice the moment he landed as well, Pendivion knocked him up again, so he couldn't use Rising Jaguar straight away, which allowed Vishim to do even more damage and then finish him off with the Valkyrie's discretion. And the fact that Pendivion saved his Cataclysm for the escape for the team and then got him out himself as well. Great work from enemy, good first blood. Yeah, he, he well, and he, he out, out strategized, or out thought Gars there. Gars thought he was going left, and he went yeah. right. Gars is going to make him pay. The gank again, though. Pain to be on. Not the target they want. They will be, they may settle for him. Oh, that blink was early. The blink. He Did they it. know? Well, the, they used the Shibalanke ultimate, and immediately he blinked away when Shibalanke ultimate came out. Looks like uh, the timing just a bit off between Gars and Snoopy there. They probably wanted Gars to fire away first. I'm just wondering if they saw him in the sky, because you can see that if you look across Could the map. Be, yeah. So you potentially saw him and blinked just before you expected the landing. But Purple Buff respawning here this time around. Enemy are going to try and defend this one on the side of the map. But Team Solomid are probably in a better opportunity, especially with Cataclysm being down and Geb a little bit low. The blue buff not being invaded this time, though, as Team Sim does take that, that Purple Buff. So small victory for them. This game very, very close. We haven't really mentioned the, the golden experience. That was a nice combo. Once again, yeah, at all. Just, just a lot of trouble. He doesn't have his ultimate. Oh! He does have his ultimate. Does have it. Does just to have get just away. time to get away from that one. Yeah, he potentially would have died then because of it. But once again, Salt Machine versus Bickham. This matchup going backwards and forwards. And Bickham, it looks like he's he's slowly losing out on this in terms of at least because of mana issues as well is one thing. But he lost that first blue buff. Salt Machine. We're going to get something a little aggro here. Look at this. So one of that, uh, that Heartseeker Transcendence build up. So it looks like it'll be Transcendence, baby. Right? Interesting. I mean, it's not Hydra's. Interesting. Heartseeker? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was it was a joke, but I was like, well, Transcendence, I mean, Transcendence is one thing that we, we mentioned for Mana has Mana issues, right? His base ability. Can't base spell for Mana without Mana. I, I, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Someone replace me. That was awful. But yeah, you, you need extra mana on him to try and sustain. He's going to have the MP5 just from the tier 2 of that, but actually going all the way into the full Transcendence, it's going to be a lot more burst damage that you won't expect out of the baby as well. So maybe he won't be using big baby for anything other than zoning duty, not necessarily to chase targets down this time round, just to zone, and then put out a lot of damage in team fights. So people actually have to focus him, which would be a good thing to allow the rest of the team to be able to position around him. Also makes that, you know, it'll be probably a, a with this kind of build-up, Transcendence into something like an Executioner, and then maybe a Fatalis in that fourth slot. I'd, pro I'd probably see Transcendence into Fatalis is what I'm Right away, yeah. Yeah, it's more than likely. You generally try and get your damage item online and then look for the Fatalis. Most most Vermoners in the old days used to go straight boots for Fatalis for the most part. Yeah, the like, old, okay. old days, yeah. And then we moved into Sprint 3, so we moved away from Fatalis. Uh, Heavy Hammer could be quite useful on him as well. Right. Um, to be able to continue chasing targets down, but he's got to get to the target in the first place, which would be quite good. I wouldn't mind seeing him go Transcendence into Heavy Hammer for some extra health, especially if he's Fatalis. I don't think Heavy Hammer is going to do it, right? Because Bickham can dash, Gars can port, Boosh can port. Mm -hmm. The Onyx is the only one that you can really walk down. But like I said, if he's just going to be in this team for trying to create a zone, that's creating the zone for them. Fair enough. Okay. And if he if he's not in big baby form, Heavy Hammer just in this situation, look at this poke damage that he's been able to get onto Vickham here, who's has a charge play away. Just giving a good juke of that ability, though, and the follow-up. Maybe he's trying to re-aggress because he knows he's got reinforcements coming. Giannis ultimate comes through. Uh -oh. Thor going to be the first one through the wall. Oh, just to get here, but it's a, it's a big time uh -oh. numbers advantage for enemy. Boosh gets out for now. New ultimate likely not to be enough here. Ooh. Indeed it isn't. Gars. Ooh. No. Ring toss. Ring. Yes, Yay. ring toss is going to get him. Another stash toss should be coming up shortly here for Naja as well. Bickham needs to play this one pretty carefully. They may He's die in the tower here. He's going to give this he up. He does get sashed. He's going to get knocked up as well. No charge prey. Nice positioning from adjust there as well to prevent that outlet. And this tower is going to fall as the minions 
Plus the clay minions start chipping away at it. Geb. He's going to save the world. He's going to save the world there. Earth Day Geb. Showing it off. Tier 1 does go down. And Bickham there, he tried to hang around because he knew Ionic was coming in as well for the support option. Potentially to try and find a pick in response and hold that tower. But didn't manage to find it. Once one of those things again where it's like, should I stay, should I go? Should have gone. We know that now. By far the most bizarre emote in this game. Is the world emote. Yeah, I know. It's just first off nobody knows it exists. I don't and even know what you got it from. And then when you got it, you're like, what the hell is that? Like uh, I guess we did some kind of like World Day or Earth Day or Arbor Day. Oh, or do you know where it came from? Huh? For, do you not know where it came from? No. From what I understand, it was one of the designers wide it in the game. They started like, oh can we please put it in? They're like, yeah, go on then, okay. That's when that's what I understand. They did it like jokingly, and it was like, let's put it in. And we were like, oh, we'll make it Earth Day Geb. So Geb now turns into the Earth and sits there. Hmm. You can, you they can just, find just Scott Zier on Twitter. Hi, Red Scott. He's the lead designer for this game. Go and ask him about Earth Day. Yeah, ask him about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the story about why we have that emo in game. It's a cool emo. Uh, it just looks out of place compared to everything else. <laughs> that's the funny thing. Yeah. No one else has a special emo. Yeah. <laughs> why, why is Geb special? He's got some of the best skins, too, actually, Geb. Get one. Mm, get one's probably. Uh, I mean, what else is there? There's get one, and then there's the. I hate the sandcastle get. Don't you just dis oh, respect sandcastle right. get? Oh right, sandcastle get. Sandcastle get. That was a good one. Right, the summer of smite promotion there. Odyssey going now now, for all of you at home. Awesome, the skins coming out for that one too. Mmm, 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 mmm. -mm -mm. Tasty skins. Well, he thought the first game was slow. <laughs> this one's <laughs> a lot slow. But enemy, enemy wants to get another ones that are on the up. You know, they, they seem to be very, very good at the early game of enemy. And they're showing this off again. Uh, Bickham struggled a little bit in, against Salt Machine in the solo lane, which has caused a lot of issues for them. And Adjust making an impact once more. Adjust for me is one of the stars of this enemy roster. Since joining the team, he's really made a big impact in controlling the early games and causing a lot of issues. Just now, Ja here. Ring toss going to come out. It's going to do a reasonable amount of damage there. And that's enough for TSM to fall back. Oh, one ring toss, and you, you know they know you're doing it. You tried to attempt it. We saw Paradigm earlier on today. Do the same sort of thing, but didn't get a response, so found it for free. But this time, TSM well aware that everybody was missing from lanes. I think you're crazy coming out to the item path. Same build up from Bickham on the Sobek there. Everyone else pretty much the standard. I guess it's worth noting how the boost is going for that cooldown reduction based Dionis over it's, the damage. It's funny though, we've not really seen, apart from that one attempt from Gars on the ult to the left hand side, we've not really seen. TSM be aggressive, talk about that hang up because we've seen aggression now onto Big Baby who's over this side of the map. Meanwhile, it just does find a kill onto Snoopy's. There's a big fight over in the duo. And look at this, Salt Machine just forcing them away. That Transcendence made an impact there. A lot of damage. Hmm. Yeah, let me definitely get the better of that set of You're going to go for the well. Gold Fury as well. I think you mentioned it. I mean, Snoopy going down again. That's a Gold Fury setup. Pain to be on zoning the team. We'll go for a knock up here. Well, really it was TS TSM are like reacting and not being proactive is the problem here. They've got Giannis with the through space and time. Hold that fort because he's firing it. Did he just Looks delete like he hit one there with it, but he doesn't take the gold fury away. That will go to the credit of enemy. Now it's Bickham. Kind of forced out of this fight for now. And enemy just want to disengage immediately. They've got what they wanted. They just walk away for the most part, push them back, and TSM have to lick their wounds again because, like I said, they're being reactive. They're reacting. They're not being proactive at the moment, and it's, it's punishing them because enemy are the ones that are aggressing. They're not finding guards with these ultimates with the through space and times and potentially, you know, Sylvanas blinking in with the engagements. They're just not finding the aggression at the moment. It's all enemy. Big old lead, though. 4,000 gold, 5,500 experience. Only a TSM. Another mid camp going the way of enemy as well, and... Yeah, you're right. I mean, enemy ahead again in this game, but it feels like it's a bit more than the average. Yeah, this isn't picks and bands composition. Like, if you look at the comps of both teams, they've both got early game aggression, they've both got mid game aggression, they've both got late game in them as well. So this is nothing to do with picks and bands. This is just enemy's game plan is being executed better right now. Adjust. He's going to go in onto Giannis. Sash toss over the wall, forcing Giannis to blow some more cooldowns there. Still being aggressive in the jungle. Into TSM's jungle here is enemy. Gar is going to throw out a Berserk Barrage, force Pain to be on back. Salt Machine pokes his nose to the jungle as well, but then decides he'd rather go continue farming where he is a couple levels ahead of Bickham back. Or So Bickham, or whatever they want to call him. Beckham. So Bickham. So Beckham. That could work. So Beckham. They said they want to call him Beckham, so So Beckham. That, that technically works. The problem is in the map right now, we're 15 minutes in. It's like everyone's just going to go around and farm. There's no mid hop. He's up for a while. Gold Fury is down as well. So everyone's just going to pretty much rotate around and try and pick up farm where they can. Potentially find a pick for the time being. Um, as the mid game approaches, though, I really want to see TSM try and step this up a little bit because it's a little bit too slow with them trying to find picks. And it's enemy trying to find them themselves. Look at that. They get two ultimates out of TSM for free there. 
Ah, three ultimates. Hang on. Three ultimates for free out of TSM. Enemy wasted nothing on that little little attempt onto Bickham on this right side. Yeah, nothing cooking here. Gars looking to see if there's a flank coming out. Wanting mm -hmm. to defend their blue buff here. That was Snoopy ult, Bickham's ult, and Boosh's ult mm -hmm. to defend Bickham. And enemy went, okay, cool. Uh, GG. Run away. Tectonic Rift going to hold Naja in for the moment. Adjust takes a good bit of damage, but good that Gab shield coming out just in time to prevent too much more. Bounce back and forth is the ring. Ionic protection is being zapped away as well, and he takes about half of his HP. Trying to rotate in his Vamana, but he'll just get the umbrella out, and it'll be the... Uh, TSM tries not, to make... Not the Fatalis at all. Will it be him man? It'll be a breastplate of Valor. It's going to be a breastplate of Valor. I expect it Fatalis, but it looks like he's just going to go for this. Well, tr Trotsan is combined very nicely with breastplate of Valor, though, because of the mana it gives you. Yeah. So it increases your damage once again. At the same time, makes you a little bit more tankier, especially against Adjust and Adjust. Yeah, but remember, Sorry, Breastplate of Valor doesn't I mean, give um, anywhere near as much mana now. And Jablonke, huh? Breastplate of Valor doesn't give anywhere near as much mana now. But it still gives you some mana, it does, which, yeah. which will impact it as but well. But it was like 550 before. And allow you to be able to... Well, it's 300. 300, it's not too bad. Right, but look at Transcendence. Right, Transcendence converts 3%. Right, so it's just not that much. Something, though, right? Yeah, right? It's like 12, <laughs> whatever, <Hey. you> know, like... <laughs> Oh, ultimate comes out power. again. I've just been on point with landing these, and he gets the right targets every time. Boosh under pressure again. He's going to be forced out. Has to portal away once more. Now it's going to be a fight that's in enemy's favor through space and time. Fired for aggressions. Gars dunks back in. Spin to win online, but he will get bursted down by Chaos there as well. Bickham surrounded by multiple members. The Fog was still eating away at him. Salt Machine goes into big baby form to own them all back. Me on the backside. Snoopy turned up to the fight and has to disengage immediately as a sash lands from Adjust. Mm -hmm. Snoopy getting what he wants out of this, some room to farm. But enemy getting the better of a fight, and now they'll take what appears to be at least a tier one here. This is just good play from enemy. Like, their team play is working out very, very well from them. It's one of those teams that, on paper, when you hear the names, we said this in the first game, on paper, when you hear the names, you don't really recognize them that much. But their communication and teamwork is really working out to their advantage for the most part. They're starting to make a name for themselves, though, aren't they? Really are, yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, Salt Machine, we saw him sub in for some top end teams throughout throughout the years. Mm -hmm. Adjust, adjust, really the player that kind of came out of nowhere here. Vicium, Chaos, Salt Machine, all names you've heard about. I mean, from the pro league point of view, they've not really been seen apart from Salt Machine and Pain to be on previously. Yeah. The other three though have been on high end challenger teams in North America for the past few seasons, for the past few splits um, into last year as well. So the names have been around. They're noticed in high level um, rank play as well for the most part and have a good reputation of being skilled players, but now they've formed this team. And Pain to be on, let's be honest, he's the one that formed it. He's worked out Yeah, that's well. what I was going to say too. Yeah, good on, good on Pain here. I mean, that, he's really the one that put this thing together. Mm -hmm. Well, the original member is only Vishim, right? He was the only original member yeah. of that last yeah. roster that, that ended up being good. Now he's he stays together, so the dual lane sticks, but bringing in a new mid laner, a new jungler, and a new solo laner that combine so well together to put pressure on teams like Team Solo Mid, that's really good credit to the team. Quick, three seconds. What was the name of the team before it was enemy? Two, one, da -da. Legion of Carrots. I, I only know EU, so <laughs> I just guess at NA all the time. Yeah. I'm NA bias, remember that. What was Titan called? Uh, Three. Agilitas. Two. Ah, you got it. Yeah. Epsilon? Pantera. That's right. Paradigm. Before Trig. Before Trig. Uh, technically, we're Fnatic as well as Trig. So it's Fnatic, and they were a mixture of Fnatic and Team Solo Mid. Because they were two different rosters together. Amaranth. What? Remember, they were Amaranth is what they played as before they got sponsored by Trig. That was like one or two weeks. Well, technically, most of that ro most two members of that roster came from the original Expo Secrets. The other three members were on Team Solo Mid right. with X Game Hunter and, TSM. and Smek. An old Smek. Yeah, exactly. And then they split up after losing regionals because they all both sucked. Both those teams sucked and were really disappointed with themselves. So they, they got drunk together and went, hey, guys, let's make a super team. And they did. And now they're second position in EU. Well, not in second position EU, but a uh, strong North American team here. Snoopy's Enemy. in trouble again. This Nothing is happening, though, in this fight. Everyone getting fairly low. Both assassins just is really, dead. really quite low. Adjust. He's being aggressed onto by Bickham, but Thor's up in the air as well. Good ult. He's going to come back down. Yeah, he will. He'll go into the backside. He'll die to Vishium, though, right away. Gumballs were active. Another misplay there Good by Thor. He takes a big burst out of, well, the Nua there, but it's cleaned up by Salt Machine. Bickham finds himself in a bit of trouble. Taylor going to use one more Gumball, going to do it, but Freya... Very, very quickly realizing that he needs a cut there. 
Not going to be able to secure that one. Doesn't matter. It's still crazy. A one, for one for one trade somehow. But enemy of the ones who have managed to go for Gold Fury here. Salt Machine still trying to chase down Boosh. Snoopy has come back with Bickham though to contest the Gold Fury once more. So they're going to have to drop in. Actually, TSM are the ones that are probably going to get this now. Pendivion trying to hang around to support. Boosh still here. He needs to watch out. Wow, Bickham just coming around chaos. the side. Watch out, Boosh. There's just his coming. Sorry, that's Salt Machine. I lie. But he wants Boosh. Oh, and he'll get Boosh. And then Arbor Big Bro, Baby once again. As we mentioned, Big Baby zoning out. Kind of. What you How expect? you called it there, Hindu? This is what he's pretty much going to do the whole game. He's gone for some magical resistance now just to be able to deal a little bit with the boosters he's going to get into later game. So he's just going to go with the transcendence for the damage and the rest is all going to be full tank like we've seen out of Amanas beforehand, it seems. Mm, 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 mm. Well, we spoke about the bar at the start and we were like, what? Really? Against all these others? He's 3-0 and 2 right now with top gold on his team, highest level in the game, and he's running the show right now. Yeah, he absolutely is. This is why we're not pro players, but <laughs> I guess so. I, I mean, mean, DM didn't even know this either, because DM would have been talking about it for weeks. I think us. it's it's a Gar's problem, really. Like Gar's so? not playing very well today, I would say. Um, and yeah, I mean, Tectonic Rift should be really good against Vamana. Just zoning him away with the but, wall. You know, they're trying, and and probably rightfully so. They keep on trying to burst down the Giannis. He's not got big baby this time. A little bit stuck out of position there. The wall does come out. Double tap hits, but not a lot of damage from it. Yannick on the front side with a big ultimate, but Bickham under pressure again. Vishim following up with a lot of damage there as well. Is Snoopy going to get credit with the kill with Pain to be on, though? Yannick didn't die from that? Nope. Stays alive. He must have gotten Gen Shielded on the way up, and we just missed it. Meanwhile, Snoopy, look at the work he's doing. He did find the second kill there. Yannick blinks in, doesn't find the route, though. Boosh through space and time, looking for a snipe. Doesn't find either of them. Unstable Vortex hits, but he gets annihilated. <gasps> the pole saved his life. Uh, do you see that? What? He bees and then try to go through his own portal but couldn't Snoopy. go through it. Snoopy's playing on fire right now. Yeah, Snoopy realizing that he's going to have to do a, a whole heck of a lot uh, in this one. Oh, still Finding going. Look at him. He can. Now Salt Machine with a knock up. And he finds Boosh. Boosh will get the return. No, he won't just yet. Barely there too because a couple more hits there. Vamana actually scores a kill to Snoopy as well. In the meantime, Bickham doing damage to the Gold Fury here this 40 is, at a time. This is one of those games that's going to go on forever. You can see how long these team fights are lasting, but that we're going to see a very, very long game because they just continue to sustain, get out of the fight in time to recall, come back with full health and continue again. The game kind of just started here. It has. And you can see that in the Golden Experience just slowly drifting, but not too much. But now that's going to bring it back even again. But we really do have a big Wait, game now. Is pain? For real? Okay, no, they're not going to try to fight him. They're just going to D-Ward there, fall back. Gars. Already busy farming away. And a messy messy fight from both teams. I mean, Salt Machine did most of the work for enemy side there. Uh, meanwhile, Snoopy turned up and wrecked havoc for TSM. He realized he, he went aggressive with Rising Jaguar against four targets, realizing he could pick up a kill with that one and had support of his team on the way as well. Snoopy made a big impact. Look at the player damage on Salt Machine. Ouch. <laughs> oh my god. Ouch. Oh, this is without the Breastplate of Valor. And that's without a Mystical Mail, which we see out of a lot of solo mail. laners. Yeah, that's what it's like. That's without Mystical Mail, which <laughs> most solo laners get sitting lane and go, Hey, look at me on top damage. Guys, you, you guys are awful. Look how much damage I did. Well, this guy's had to land all these abilities to do that much with a Transcendence. There's the Heavy Hammer coming out as well after uh, a tremendous amount of tankiness. Oh, you called it. You did say Frozen Hammer. Was it you who said Heavy Hammer or was it me? I think that was last game I was talking about Kali. It was one of us. You were talking about Heavy Hammer. I was actually, yeah. You were saying early on though, and maybe Save in lieu of Fatalis, but it's it's neither really. Heavy Hammer coming out late too late to really be like a it's still know, kind of pressuring ability. It's still gonna be affecting as the game goes on because zoning again, like get, you were saying. Yeah, get one or attack off, he's forcing someone to move away from you. Uh, let's have a look at the spots. Yeah, it's Pain to be on versus Ionic. Ionic kind of that perennial favorite in North America for uh, top support along with Jeff Hinlow usually, both of them in the conversation at the tops. Um, yeah, yeah, five. dead even on the fantasy points. Yeah, but Gulper 5, you can see a little bit of differential. Yonix are always better at farming, but talk about pain right now. He's surrounded by three. Yonix is there as well. He's still surviving, but he does get hit by the knock-up too. It just comes in with a blink over the wall, but can't find what he's looking for with the ring toss. This fight going on just where the Tier 1 tower once stood for TSM in the mid lane. In the meantime, it does look like TSM has, uh, for the moment, lost sight of Vamana over on yeah, the right. Yeah, Bickham so came Bickham all the way over. Just now making his way back, but the tower already at 50% HP. That baby's going to chop too. the back camp says Bickham not going to make it in time. Salt Machine will get a tier 2 out of this one. On the far left side of the map, Shibalanke and Freya starting to shade towards the mid lane. Snoopy trying to cut off Freya's ability to get there. While TSM, three members assaulting the tier 1 in the mid. Enemy 
about 50% HP across three members as well as they try to defend it. We're going to have a uh, 4v4 fight here pretty soon. I don't think so. I think it's going to, like, the whole aggression is going to stop soon. The tier 1 tower is about to fall in mid lane. I think they have to accept resignation of that tower fall in there, especially now that we see Salt Machine back in as well as Geb. So it works out for enemy, though. They get a tier 2 tower in the right lane for losing tier 1 tower in mid. But they'd already taken the tier 1 tower in mid lane anyway. So it's all good for enemy, really. One of the final major power spikes that some people have over Vichium until super late game here is the Executioner is online. At roughly the same timing as Demonic Grip plus an Ikval, uh, and, and no kind of secondary item, Bancroft's Talon or Pythagoras piece not picked up now by the Freya. So still only really having the one damage item with the Demonic Grip plus Boots combination there versus the kind of one and a half, almost two now from Snoopy. So uh, he can box the Freya pretty effectively and he also does have a, a modest gold lead to tune about 500 gold on the side of Shi Belanke for TSM. Yeah, the but there's Bancroft now, and things back to even. Things, things pretty much back to even. Goppermen, as you can see in the top left, Vermont on top of the shop, and Snoopy right behind him. They're the two we've spoken about in these engagements most, most of the time. Have, have been Snoopy and Salt Machine are making the impact for the team. Gold still in enemy's favor, along with experience for now. But I don't see any team having a clear eight lead right now. I don't see any team having a clear advantage with how these fights are going and the map pressure from either side too. Well, I think they, there's definitely an advantage, I'd say, to enemy here. Um, they have just some big stacking items, Book of Toth, Transcendence, Survivability, a Deathbringer on Najah as well, uh, where it's still like kind of trying to turn that corner of survivable for TSM. That Mail of Renewal is finished for the Thor. You have your Ethereal Staffs coming out. I, I kind of have to, I mean, when I look at the composition of enemy as well, when you look to extreme late game, well, I just can two-shot somebody when he's got full crown line as well with the Sash. Sash someone, auto-attack, and they're pretty much dead. Uh, Vishim can do the same thing with Freya in terms of pulse damage. And then Chaos with one new War Fire Shards ultimate can half-health a whole team. So they've got that advantage across the way. You've got Boosh that can half-health a team with the through space and time. And Snoopy on Jibalonke, but that's that's where it stops for them. So it's like a 2-3 scenario. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two kind of late game carries. Vermont yeah. kind of that. He just stole that blue buff away from two people. Multiple times. He's stolen that away a bunch of times. From Meanwhile, Starlight. Snoopy's getting zone while two members are over here trying to defend a blue buff. They lose a tier one tower to TSM. Snoopy doesn't get the reinforcements in time to help protect him. They didn't go diving for him, and I think that's what we saw Boosh and Degas sat in the jungle waiting for there was them to try and dive in. Here we go again. They're looking for Salt Machine. They don't find him. Looks like he stole the orange as well. He sure there's nothing Bickham could do to stop him. Walked in there. Bickham sat there throwing abilities in the Vamana, but didn't get anything out of it. All four members of this enemy, pick, I'm sorry, man. all five members of enemy here around the mid lane, Salt Machine in the lane. The other four around the Gold Fury. Moving forward is Pain, looking for some counter warding. Look it does over. look like Eonic will get the better really of the counter ward. They don't find a kill though, Eonic just able to walk away and get away from the aggression. Bickham did great zoning work, meanwhile Salt Machine half health in the mid lane. But that was a weakening curse just popped, he may be under pressure here. Oh, a really choice crit there coming off from Chibalake. Just in time, got that big 337. Not enough to kill Salt Machine, but is enough to make him scared. He doesn't move forward again. And had he moved forward with his team as they surge in, they probably would have found a couple of kills there. Thor, he's going to try to dunk in. He'll throw out the Tectonic Rift, but it's just a bit off the mark to actually block Nua into the right side of the mid lane there. You mentioned this earlier. Guy's a little bit off the mark today. He's not finding those abilities that we would normally like to see out of him. Multiple times we've seen, you know, walls miss, dunk, not necessarily dunks, but walls missing. Double taps is the big one that I've seen miss a couple of times more than usual. Reporting it as Bickham now. As all five members of TSM are on the Gold Fury. Three members just off to the right for enemy, looking to contest. One to the left. That's Vichium who's looking for that banish. They'll find the whoop on to Bickham, allowing them to move forward. Sobek up in the air, but the double tap hits two there. Nuwa and Vamana getting a bit low, but Vamana not too worried about it. Fire Shard is going to be used here as just. well. Gold Fury down to 1600. Naja takes one up into the air. Boost waiting throughout the unstable. Vortex actually misses the Gold Fury there. No one's securing the Gold Fury. It actually ticks back up now to 2,000, nearly 3,000 health. Dead. Guards the fall no, as well, an enemy getting by far the better of this fight as TSM just took too banish. long to pick a moment to go in. Boosh going to try to use his ultimate to get out of here in time. He will make it. And he'll bail out oh, another one with two space in time as well. Moving forward is Pain to be on. That should be enough for Pickham to knock up. Damage coming through as well. Frey doesn't have a cooldowns up. He's trying to run away. Cumballs now. No, he's going to be enough to slow him down. And enemy three members drop on TSM. That fight was mental. That play was crazy backwards and forwards, but I just blinked over the red buff, ulted immediately onto Snoopy, and that annihilated the damage and the basically the full damage potential that they had for TSM. Now they're going to be able to pressure onto a tier 2 tower. They don't even go Gold Fury there, but they go for a tier 2, and they're looking for Fire Giant by the looks of the way that team's moving. If I'm on a uh, very, very good at these kind of situations, right? Where he is... Split push for days. Yeah, he's got no qualms about staying here. Clear the path, exceptionally good at running away. 
and he's just, it'll take them well. too long to kill him for what it'll be worth now. Fire Giant. The Hello engagement has begun here. She Blanc ultimate gonna be used. Ionic, not gonna blink in just yet. A little bit early. 29 and a half minutes into this one. Fire Giant getting fairly low. Now 3k, now 2k. In comes Good Ionic. Old. There comes the Wrath of Terra. Not gonna get the steal just yet. Doesn't get it in time, and now he's starting to go down quickly. The Nausea with Deathbringer should be enough to finish off Sylvanas here. Trying to move forward is Boosh on Stable Vortex. No, he'll Good get Paul, the better of Sylvanas. New all ultimate gonna be used. It's not gonna Snoopy. be enough to kill Sylvanas either. Snoopy, he's isolated a bit, trying to find kills in the backside where. Naja already is dead. Chaos, he gets low but not dead just yet. Boosh credited with yet another kill. Vishun goes down looking for pain to be honest. He tries to roll away from the fire giant but it rooted out brilliantly. Oh, and the snatch just off the mark from Yonic there as well. Trying to pull back in that Geb rollout. Gars trying to put the first damage on but no, he'll smartly port away from Salt. No, he's dead. Plus, he's out dead. To clear the pass. Nicely done there by the Sobek. And this the time, turnaround. it's a turnaround for TSM. The turnaround, the fire giant goes down, but look what TSM managed to do there. The response weren't long enough for the, uh, the amount of time to go all the way back to base, buy up, and then come back for the fire giant. Especially because Salt Machine ended up staying for that tier 2 tower. Miscommunicate, well, mistake, basically, from enemy for sticking around as long as they didn't, trying to go fire giant there. If they should have brought Salt Machine with them to begin with, they could have zoned out Ionic to start off with. It wouldn't have allowed Snoopy into that fight, or the Boosh, potentially. And without having that frontliner in Salt Machine with them, they end up losing the fight because he turns up too late to do anything. And TSM takes a Phoenix. They're in the mid lane, now falling back towards the Gold Fury, shading that way. That, that's a great and started up as well. So they'll great get a situation with two, a Phoenix and a Gold Fury out of that uh, well successful but uh, punished Fire Giant attempt from enemy. Yeah, I mean, and now they're going to see enemy coming with the Fire Giant on two members of the team, but immediately that threshold hits, it's going to slow them right down. Blinking for Penny, but he's still looking for the steal potentially here as he got support from his team. He does not show where that one went to, though. Does look like TSM. TSM able to secure it there indeed. Yeah, you can see the graphs. Moving back up towards the blue team, gold nearly completely squared here through 31 minutes experience. Still shading in favor of enemy to the tune of about 4,000, but through 31, that's very, very close game. As the level 20s are starting to pop across the board. I'd say for, for all intents and purposes, this game's even, but it's not because there's a Phoenix down in the mid lane now. That's the big differential between these two teams, is that one Phoenix being down. TSM can just hold out for a little bit, wait for this Fire Giant to wear off of Chaos, wear off of Pain to be on, and then they can look to aggress, knowing that they've got map pressure because of the Fire Minions. So yeah, it's going to be a high enemy line for Vomana into uh, probably a uh, shell of the other Big one later, but a fight breaking out here at the orange buff of TSM. Enemy getting a nice surge in the jungle, but TSM fighting here in the choke where Gars has picked off a just up in the air. Goes Vichy trying to backpedal and do some damage, and he'll pick up Gars to the assassin traded for now. Boosh, he'll port through the wall back to the mid lane as Yonic ports in using three space and Tim to get there. Snoopy force out of the fight, rising Jaguars towards a tier two on the right dead. side that's missing. Pick him. Just stalling for his team. He goes down to Vichium as well, and it's a one Ooh. for two trade in favor of enemy for now. Boosh, you lucky. Nope, not so nope. lucky. Boosh tries to be greedy play there and blinking forward with the knockups. Pain to be on underneath the tier two in the mid lane, successfully making that a three for one trade now. Just traded for Bickham, Gars, and Are they Boosh. healthy enough to tank the tower? That was a question. Yeah, just about, I think, we're going to see Pain to be on tank this one up. They'll bring down a tier two tower. I don't think they can go for a Phoenix, though, because we're against Fire Minions here, and Sylvanas and Snoopy are not two targets they want to treat lightly at this situation. Yeah, this one's starting to get pretty ugly here at 30 minutes. It, it's been messy all game, really. Like backwards and forwards in the team fights. It's been, not just been one big team fight where one person's been bursted down and the fight's just swung. It's been a lot of little pockets of fights going on at the same time. Three different fights, potentially Snoopy from one angle. You see the supports in a different angle trying to get the options off there. Vishim on the backside. And then you've still got the junglers getting in the mix too. It's been very, very spread out fights that they've all been looking for different targets. Well, it's still a uh, a very close game here, 15 to 11 in favor of enemy. 33 minutes in, and Vermona still has 13,000 more damage than the mages. That's a new one, a Giannis for reference too. Like they're not. And he's fully he's fully itemized here yeah. as well now. Two he's actives like, maxed out. After all the talk about this Vermona before the game, when we were like, "What? I, I'm really impressed with it." If this could be replicated permanently, we may see the rise of the the baby coming back. Well, I think you know. Is it just a, the Sobek like, matchup? Maybe just the Sobek matchup. Later. Like I, I said, I thought the Sobek matchup would have gone even, but is either it does go even? No, I think I think it's just yeah. No, Salt Machine's kind of outplayed Bickham here. Maybe it's the case. Um, he stole so many so many buffs away from Bickham. Well, they're trying to pick him again, but it, he is gonna immediately just clear the path to disengage. Pull already on cooldown, so he'll get out of trouble and jump on his around with his umbrella. 
Ratatouille nearly done here for Freya as well. She's approaching being six slotted. Snoopy's near enough to finish off Deathbringer as well. Can we check Golden Hand? Because we should be able to see Ratatouille versus that Deathbringer in terms of how much is No needed. one has anything. Both of them very, very Everybody's under 600 gold here yeah. across the board. So Snoopy's going to get banished out underneath the Fire Giant. Fire Giant has not respawned yet. He's still about 10 seconds away. But all 10 members of the game hanging out here around. Vision advantage slightly in favor of TSM. Not the best situation for enemy though this right now. They're not going to go aggressive. Oh, Blink is to be on Cataclysm on to four as well. Salt Machine found his way to the back line. He gets first hit root though by Eonix passive. What a bummer. Crazy fight, but nobody's coming really much out on top of this one right now. Enemy need to go back and stop aggressing. Unless they find a kill here, it's a bit risky because they could lose a Phoenix here part of the back. You can see someone's had to go back and defend it yeah. because otherwise those fire minions will take it out. So Salt Machine's falling back to the mid So Phoenix it's a 4v4 now. For enemy. A 4v4 as Gars was picked up in that fight. The vision advantage now back in favor of enemy here. They've gotten a, a pretty good ward penetration. One has been countered by TSM. Fire Giant started up now for enemy. Bit risky. Against the ultimate that they've got through space and time is available. We'll secure it for them as well. He's alive. They don't have many ultimates on the side of enemy right now either. They've got to be very careful here. This fight's going to wash for now, but until we see respawns, I suspect. Well, here comes Salt Machine rotating back in. They come fairly low here as well. Snoopy just pushing the wave out a bit. As uh, enemy goes back into the fire giant, starts it back up yet now. again. They've got 20 seconds on Degas coming in still. Ionic does have ultimate, as does Boosh. Snoopy's is still down. Bickham's just came back up as well, though, so we can create a lot of zone. Boosh will escape danger once again with that pole. And the whole of enemy team is here, but every second that ticks by, Gars is coming back online. Yeah, Gars one second away now. Gars back up. Fire giant started yet again. This time, Salt Machine going to move forward here, popping a shell of the underworld and going in on a Snoopy. Using the height of the Nemean line there as well. Porting back away is Young Boosh yet again. Fire Giant getting down to about 50% HP. Salt Machine continuing to hold time too early. the front line here. So he's facing time too early to get a steal. But enough to provide a backdoor entrance for the team if they want it. But this is what they want. Here comes Romana, Frostbound Hammer. Uh, back in here, Big Baby zoning out the team, but no one is putting damage into the Fire Giant anymore. No, Fire Giant ended up resetting there. He's going to go back to full. HP once again. Gars is going to take to oh, the sky. Oh, he's got a bunch. He's got a bunch. In he goes. She blocked ultimate as well. Beads immediately popped to the frail ultimate used as well. Gars going to hit by Cataclysm into the knockup. Pick him quite low as well. Shell going to come out here. Pain Young trying to maintain a front line. Snoopy, before she roll out, he's going to slow down Snoopy. And it's a full-on retreat from enemy, except for Salt Machine, who wants to basically secure this retreat for them. Ooh, Bulwark going to be popped there by Pain de Vian as Gars goes out. The Mjolnir's of Tumen looking to turn the corner here. However, still is Salt Machine, but the rest of the team underneath the Tier 2 for enemy. Yeah, TSM can't aggress any much for, further forward than that because they've got to be scared of New War. If New War can channel the clay minions down there, they'll all get stunned by the Shining Metal, plus the damage that can come out from uh, Vermana just going in there too. And Salt Machine wisely going to protect the Tier 1 tower on the right with the support of two members who are decent HP as well. Needs to be careful, TSM here. They can, they can find a pick if they want to, but they don't want to give up too much is the issue. Tier 1 is going to fall, and Tier 2 going to be uh, in the sight squarely for TSM. They'll pluck back Salt Machine. Do they have what it takes here? That's the going to be used as the Nemean Lion. Now, Snoopy doing a ton of damage to himself, but they will be able to burn down the Vamana. Rising Jaguar away, trying to set up for the Sash Toss's adjustment. It's blocked nicely there by Boots. Damage adjusted. Takes a ton of damage. Boots go through his own portal, through space and time as well. And he's going to be out of this fight for now. Let the minions kill him. They do not. How long on fire shots is the question I'm thinking of because TSM's going to run away and I think enemy should just continue, continue chasing. Hopefully Chaos will have his ultimate sometime soon so he can secure a couple of free kills here for the most part. There's still aggression to Bickham who tail whips away. Enemy going to retreat for the golf, for the fire giant here which I think is the right call and I think only Ionic can really stick around. Snoopy's trying to sustain off the back half to come back in the fight. Oh, just like seconds too late. Seconds just makes it back to base. But Snoopy is here on decent HP again. He did heal off those back harpies, which is important. Now Bickham teleporting back in. Means that they could potentially look for a pick here. They're looking for Chaos, who ages this for a second. And the flip is not good enough to find the pill kill, but Bickham in a lot of damage. trouble. New ultimate coming out here as well, doing a nice chunk of damage to the back line there. But Giannis shrugs it off. And Nua is completely out of this fight. Thor going back up yet Bickham's again. Vishim, he's dead, dead to Chaos. right. Zar's going to cut off the escape path for the team as well there from enemy and TSM. Now they should be able to secure a fire this giant here. This is crazy, Bart. This game's going backwards and forwards. It's been like a six minute fight. fire giant engagement. Yeah, for the whole time they've just been fighting over this right hand side of the map. Look at the levels on these people. This is thir 38 minutes in the game. Adjust is level 19 still. The support's obviously not hitting ma max level. Neither's the Gars. The junglers haven't hit level 20 at 38 minutes in the game. What is this? So much fighting. But the second fire giant of the game will go to TSM. 
And the longer this game's gone as well, you can see Vishim's really starting to hit his stride now. 6, 3, and 5. He's been very quiet for the most part, but these engagements, well, he's bit, he's managed to get a lot of damage in them and find the kills that have been very important for keeping enemy in this one. But TSM, they're the ones that have fought back once again. And when you look at their slash lines in terms of KDA, it's all pretty much Snoopy. We've heard that story before. There was a story last game as well. I mean, no one really having a standout performance with the exception of Snoopy in game number one. Already. But they, st they still found the win. The important thing is the win, you know, at the end of the day for TSM. Making sure you get the dozen Ws. It doesn't matter how they come as long as you get them, and it's worked out well so far. And now with that engagement, I mean, enemy got the last fire giant, if you remember that one, but TSM fought back, found the fight, took the gold fury off the back of it, and enemy didn't find anything. They even got the phoenix off that one. And this time around, well, TSM now get the fire giant, they get the gold fury, and now they get to assault these last few towers that are remaining to get some more gold for themselves, as well as the weakened phoenix in mid lane, don't forget. Back to a zero-sum gold difference there, 100 gold separating the teams. 6k experience, nothing to write home about either. This one basically dead even if yeah. at minute 40. Dead even. Well, both the jugglers have hit tw level 20 finally. Yay, they can have parties now. <laughs> finally, don't have to worry about. Well, they'll have maximum damage, and you can see how much Just is doing with that build he's got too. He got a big crit off early on in that engagement and forced Boosh into a bad spot, but it wasn't enough to win the fight for the team. And regression once again from TSM. No one's stopping Snoopy though in this fight. Frontliners exchanging blows. Snoopy unchecked, taking down that tier two easily. TSM, they kind of have the luxury now to uh, continue in or not, depending on what they oh, want. Guards are forward. We got a two man stun, spin to win, not going to hit too much there as he slowed down. Shiba Lanka Ultimate, going to hold them in place for just a moment. Yannick, oh. Wrath of Terror underneath the Phoenix, and TSM continues trying to force something here, but enemy has successfully retreated and uh, held. But a lot of cooldowns used there. Vermont Ultimate used as well, but Chaos and Adjust still holding theirs. Yeah, Nazi he's looking like should be able to pull someone Bad spot, you can't get away because of the wall as well. Luckily, Shield of Underworld will have just blinks over the wall. Goes the biggest two fire shards is being used as well to secure the kill on Boosh. He's annihilated in response now, but still the fight is going. And Snoopy is still pinging away with those bowlers. He doesn't get the Phoenix again, though. It gets quite low, but they do not get that left side Phoenix. And they will whoop up Boosh. I'm sorry, guard. Aegis. Will enemy. Do they have enough to kill the Thor, though? Counter initiation starts coming out from TSM. So no one has really checked Snoopy in the back line here. He does proc amid Guardian Mail. So Luckily, there, and that probably protected. saves the life assault machine. Protect Snoopy, allow him to keep pinging away with those bowl of virus over and over again. Pain to be on still alive though, it just came in and gets a big crit, but he pays with his price. So pays the price to the Gars. Snoopy still alive, Gar still alive, Bickham still alive. On the other side, it's Salt Machine, Chaos, Pain to be on, and Vicium, and away will go TSM with mm -hmm. that. Enemy has successfully held their base versus that fire giant push of TSM. They get a lot of gold out of it and they expose yet another Phoenix, but they don't take it down. Mm hmm. And uh, this nope. one, we're going late. Notice exactly what TSM did there. They went aggressive until the moment Ionic died. When Ionic died, he went, oh no, we've not got Wisps and the extra protections and heal coming in. Yep, bye bye. Let's back out and not continue his aggression. It's a bit too risky. And Vishim's still trying to hunt somebody in the jungle here. That's what he's running around for, seeing is anybody still here? But maybe he's bitten off a little bit more than he can chew because it's only him and Pain I can see so far. Well, he sidestepped the stun there. He's nicely. got a ult. He's got oh, an he ult came here. Up. They have the Geb Shield as well. They were overlapped a little bit there. Probably not exactly what he was looking for. Couple man knock up. Snoopy gets quite low. Through space and time hits Vishim as well, though. That That's deletion so of him. Fire damage. shots. May trade back, though, onto the Gars. His salt machine round the back should be able to pick him up the clear the path. No! Juke boots on life for Gars, but the portal closes. Knock up is enough. No, it's not Berserker Barrage and knock up from Bickham. Still chasing onto salt, wow. salt machine, but Gars gets out. Oh, he goes again. Fire Giant buff had an impact in that one for sure. I yeah, absolutely. See. The percentage HP. Soul Reaver. As well from the Giannis there, hit mm. through a, with a like near max distance through space and time, and the Soul Reaver proc nearly one shot, Vicium. Soul Machine trying to go back to base here. You oh, they really want pain. Yeah, spin gone for there. Snoopy gonna be able to find him here for sure. Should be able to bring him down. He's gonna try and roll out, but immediately flipped by Bickham, surrounded by three members, four members now with Vianney coming in there. TSM pick up another kill for themselves. Uh, Fire Giant has run out though. Mm -hmm. but, but they do have the Wisp to heal them back up, and down the left side lane goes TSM. Four members strong in the mid lane. Split is Gars. Still two members down from enemy. I think the that's the call them. now. That's the, that's the right call now. He's like, send Gars mid. Try and put the pressure on there. The rest of the team groups left. This middle Phoenix is weakened because it was already fallen down once before. So just leave one person to try and force an engagement. You've got a one-man advantage. Sorry, two-man advantage for a while. Why not force this? Nobody defending the left side Phoenix. Maybe a misplay from enemy. Gars is able to keep them in combat long enough. Down it will though. go. Could they have stopped that, though? With three? Probably not. A bit risky. A little surprised to see them not try anything, though. They didn't really try Agreed. to gank Gars. They didn't really try to... Defend. Agreed. They didn't find anything. Instead, it's just going to be TSM rotate to mid lane. The Fire Giant's up soon as well, so I don't think they're even going to look for that Phoenix for now. Yeah, it's got to be Fire Giant they're looking for. He's four seconds away and will be up by the time they make it there. They pick up the right side mid camps as well. Bickham 
plus Sylvanas rotating back. And no, it's not the Fire Giant call. In fact, they're going to respect enemy's ability to rally. And just old Snoopy going to hang around. TSM looking pretty good for this one now. I mean, this game's got backwards and forwards. Enemy could come back into this, but I'm not 100% sure they have the opportunity with the Phoenix. Two Phoenixes being down, well, one down, one weak in the mid lane. And this Fire Giant, if this goes in the way of TSM, I think this is the beginning of the end now. No, it looks like enemy's not even going to contest. Yeah, they're coming out on top of the engagements too much. So yeah, uh, TSM will indeed secure a free Fire Giant here at the 44th minute mark. And uh, they're going to march their way up the right side lane here. Left side Phoenix is down. The far side Phoenix, of course, uh, a difficult proposition to defend now for, I mean, for Eager. For enemy, enemy it's I'm sorry. all about right hand Phoenix. Right hand Phoenix has to be defended by the whole team and they have to make a really good engagement. That's what they'll be looking for on this right hand Phoenix. It's the only one they can realistically try and defend. They have to give up the one in mid lane because it's not going to last long enough to really make an impact. The right ones are not going to last too long, too much longer because of the builds that everybody now has mm -hmm. as well as the Fire Giant being online. But it's something they should be looking for. Well, back to the mid lane goes TSM after taking the tier two on the right as we put 45 minutes in this game. And this is the right call from TSM too. Why go for the right one, which is full health, which we just mentioned enemy will want to try and fight up. Instead, take the middle Phoenix down first of all, because it's weakened. And if enemy try and put up a fight here, it could spell disaster and end of the game for them right now. And the first wave of Fire Maiden starting to stream into the base from the left side there as well. So a lot of pressure coming out from TSM as they move forward into the Phoenix's range. Pain to be on, will throw out the Cataclysm. No just in the front of the Phoenix from enemy. They don't get much follow-up on it though. Bickham is holding on the front line quite nicely on Sobek. He'll get a ton of damage from lurking in the water. As it does proc, Vishim down to about 50% HP on Big that Freya. Out. Phoenix is down as well. No one dead just yet, but obviously healing up quite nicely for themselves with a Fire Giant buff is TSM. TSM don't have to do anything. Just wait for the Fire Minions to pull through now. Like, they got the ultimate from Big Baby. They got Cataclysm as well. There's no way they can defend right on Phoenix without those ultimates being available. Unless Adjust makes some crazy play. Adjust, he's going to blink in. <laughs> he's going to ult onto one. He does pick up Snoopy, it looks like here. And it will go. be enough to get the kill there with Vishim's ultimate and the new ultimate as well. And that'll be enough to force TSM back for now. They've had it in Boosh. He'll ult away. Still for the call. Trying to make it through his Sobek as well. He gets... No, no, Trying no. To no. for now. Oh, oh the tail whip the saves tail whip. It. And away he goes. They're going to use the threshold there as well. But the power of the late game, Najja plus Nua. Okay, so they're keeping the game. And I just said exactly what happened was... Pain Man doesn't have ultimate. Big Baby's not available. They have to make a big play here with Adjust, and he makes it. And, and he found Shubalon. It's the only reason they're still in this game now is because they found that pick. That was a risky situation for enemy to put themselves in, but a great play from the team. Yeah, and all in, and they, they are successful. Successfully holding for now. I don't know how much longer this game could potentially go, but one Phoenix down. Left hand Phoenix will respawn soon. Vishim's over there farming that one up too. And we're going to start hitting that... Ever so interesting point of the game when we may start seeing those huge elixir pops coming in. You think so? Let's take a look at Golden Hand. Does anybody, is anybody holding 3k? Yeah, Vamana. Uh, Excited is on the way. It's potential. And he's just ticked over now. So, Big Baby, yeah, would, you go, going back would you go for it. defense or would you go for offense? That's the question mm. now. With two Phoenixes being down. With his build, offense probably? Right, because you're really tanky. Like, your problem isn't that you're dying. Two space and time, they're looking for chaos. And they don't find anybody whatsoever. Oh, Actually, they do in the end. My, oh my. Chaos a race there. One. And Vomana goes back to pick up his potion and leaves his team out to dry, I don't it think seems he like. Potion. I'm not sure if he did. I don't know. I think he just went he did. No, he did. He got a, he got a red he one. He did. He got the, the major power pot. But the re-aggression from TSM too much. Now I just cut out of position. Tries to juke Ooh. out, but can't juke out the unstable like vortex. Giannis with Soul Reaver. I mean, he almost one-shot Chaos. The, the Mjolnir's Atuma did, in fact, clean it up. That's full build Medjis for you. Full build Medjis, full build AD carries. is a very quick game for the most part. Yeah. Salt Machine. The final stand of the Salt Machine here. He's going to try to fight the whole team, it looks like, on the Vamana and force them back. He's smacking Boosh around, but Boosh goes through the portal. Now looking for his next target, but without a Fatalis, can't stick to anybody as well. 47 and a half minutes now, and TSM moving forward. Two members down, Adjust and Chaos looking to break the bank. Can they find Salt Machine in time? They have the baby isolated here. They're trying to burn him down. He's going to use everything that he's got, but he will fall indeed. Snoopy credited for that kill, and that should be the game. Vishium will pick up Snoopy, but will it oh, be enough? We'll get Boosh as well. Now it may be enough. They don't have much two. damage. It's just Gars. Gars can't find him either. The shield comes out from Pendy to keep Vishim alive. Still, oh. the damage is going to the fire minions, though, are doing work to the Titan. Not enough to kill it just yet. And TSM realized this now, but they're trying to just push the end because they know Vishim is going to have Pulse up again in a second. They try and keep him isolated for as long as possible. The Aegis comes out, but the Titan is still falling. Titan getting lower and lower. 1300 now, and it's all over. The fire minions can't be stopped and can't Ooh. be denied. Ooh. Barely able to secure that one as TSM. A very, very close game all the way down to the wire. And really, uh, the whole hats set. off to Enemy there. The whole set was backwards and forwards between those two. Enemy played fantastically both games. Executed the game plan game one. Game two had a fantastic composition. Gave it to them all. Salt Machine, full credit to him because he put on a very good performance in that solo lane too. Yeah, TSM ekes out a couple of tough 
40 plus minute wins, or I guess the first one was about 37, 38. Yeah. But just long funny. games are the enemy. Enemy has very long games, generally, generally speaking, yeah. right? I think they've only got two games under 30 minutes from what I can remember. Man, dude, let's take just a look at first blood in this game here as well. Uh, Vichium, credit for this one, the Naja ultimate. And this one was, uh, was just pulse pretty around, simple. One little pulse when he comes down. Oh, away he goes, no, no, ultimate. Dun, dun, go. dun. And, and that, was, uh, that was a good execution of skills because it was Pain that did the knock up straight after the landing from right, just. I uh, just did a lot of good plays with that Nija. Set up a lot of gang potentials for the team. And uh, your player of the game, this game, it's Evan Snoopy Man Jones. No, he's got to be a winner. And he's got to be a winning team. He's yeah, Snoopy. Snoopy had a fantastic performance here. Multiple times in the fight, you just see him go. This is the one where he's, he's three on one here for a second, I believe, because you see Gars fall down, I believe. Yeah, and then he goes in three on one. Yeah, that dart. Quite aggressive. Like, okay, cool. I'm going in for it and then back out again. I'm quite happy to stay in the fight. The team supported him well, though, as the game went on to allow him to get into these positions. Yeah, I mean, late in that game, though, he nearly uh, kind of, I wouldn't say it's him. It's really more a great play by Adjust and a bad play by Snoopy there. But, I mean, things are pretty hairy there when he got picked right at the very end of yep. the game. I think yep. it was the one thing I could take out of that game for enemies' point of view is that they needed to make sure they shut down Snoopy a little bit better. When they did go on Snoopy, notice how TSM kind of fell apart in that game. In game one, you mean? In, in game one and game two. Yeah. Because when Adjust managed to find those ultimates onto him, the early first bloods and stuff, there wasn't much backup for TSM to respond to. Fair enough. Picking Snoopy could have been a little bit more of a success for them. Well, now is the time in the broadcast where we take a look at our Alpha Draft top performers, one would assume. Let's take a look at them. It's Vichium, Boosh, Salt Machine, Snoopy, and Pain of Beyond. But Vichium, leading all nice players in the losing team, goes to show you how uh, how effective that performance was on Freya. Yeah, very effective, especially during the closing moments as well. 10-5-5 five, five for Vichium. And pretty good play damage on that too. Salt Machine should be on that list. Is he on that? Yeah, middle of the pack. Yeah, he's in the middle okay. of the pack there. 35 points, 37 put up by Boosh. Very 35 for Snoopy and uh, 34 for Pain. There's, there's nothing I would be discredited by from enemy's point of view about losing that game. TSM, though, they'll be happy with those two games because it will bump them to, I believe, within one of Eager, which is very important. And uh, we do have a player from TSM joining us. I think it's Ionic, I believe, that we have with us. Are you there? Hello? Hey, it is. What's up, Ionic? Hi. Mm, you, I'm doing pretty good. How are you guys? I'm doing well. Uh, not too bad. You Pretty rough two games, though, for you boys. I mean, that wasn't an easy, easy performance at all to try and just walk in and pick up games. Yeah, it's a lot closer than I uh, would have liked it to be, but thankfully, um, you know, someone always steps up. Today it was Snoopy. Yeah. Um, more often than not, it's Snoopy, to be honest, but <laughs> everyone really... Um, I think we really, really bought it together as a team, and we're, we're able to show that we can play from behind. So Sobek becoming uh, quickly kind of a signature god for Bickham here. We've seen you guys go to Sobek uh, a couple times, this time twice in the first two picks, uh, our first picking phase for, for Sobek there. Um, and in the first game, Giannis and Sun Wukong completely unbanned. Can you talk a little bit about just the relative strength of those gods and why you guys favor Sobek over gods like Sun Wukong? Uh, Sobek can really just stalemate the soul lane extremely well. And um, it, it really seemed as though they were trying to bait us into the Sun Wukong pick so that Soul Machine could play Osiris. So we're just really happy with uh, with Bikkum on Sobek. That makes sense. It's, it's kind of like... Sobek's like another version of Hades, pretty much, for that solo lane. Just stalemating it, but it still brings the same sort of things to the team, but a little bit different in certain ways. Yeah, and, yeah. and what I want to ask Yannick also is in game number one, um, the composition you guys ran with the, the four healers um, and then the last pick, Odin, out of enemy, was that an oversight for you guys not to ban that? Because you banned Nuwa in that situation. Um, or was um, that a bait for the Odin pick? No, it, we, it was more of an oversight, I would say. Uh, that comp, we uh, sort of been practicing it ever since AFK uh, beat us with it in that second game against them. Um, pretty much impossible to fight into 5v5 if they're, if like the healing comp is, is ahead at all. Yeah, it feels like so, that, that whole composition just feels like there's a time limit until it comes online and then you almost indestructible as a, as a whole team when you're all together. Is that, is that how it's yeah. supposed to play out? Uh, yeah, ideally we don't get as far behind as we do in that first game, but... Um, Luckily, enemy's not as strong as closing out games as some of the top teams are, like NV, C9, Eager. Yeah, that, that so does we were seem able to, to come back. The last little piece that's holding enemy from really being a tier one team that yeah. we see is, yeah. is that ability to that that killer instinct closing out the game. Well, uh, Ionic, any calls or shoutouts before we let you go? Find you on Twitter at TSM Ionic on Twitch at Ionic. And what else do you have to say, bud? Uh, shout out to my team. Shout out to Bickham. He's been a fantastic addition to the team, and I think he surpassed even our expectations. So I'm really happy with that. And um, shout out to you guys for having a great cast, I'm sure. <laughs> thanks very much. Well, thanks, Ionic. And uh, that does do it for set number one, guys, out of North America. Coming up next, it's mm. the match of the week. Eager versus Cloud9.
And this is one of the games that you don't want to miss because both these teams are vying to keep a decent spot in the rankings, in the standings. Envy still top of the charts, but depending on where you finish this season is going to impact where you ha who you have to face at Super Regionals. That's right. And this is one of those games where they're fighting for second two place. 2 over Eager here also puts them squarely in the second. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, guys, that does do it. First set number one. We'll be back with our final set for Saturday. It's the match of the week. Cloud9 versus Eager coming up in five minutes. See you then. There's a new life waiting Your head's buried in the sand You've been dealt the wrong hand Can't imagine how you feel Only you know that it's real Don't look back